Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I literally have not posted a video in more than two months. I literally think it's two and a half months since the last video that I've posted, which is quite insane to think about, to be honest. I don't remember the last time I've gone that long without posting a video, but I've just been kind of relaxing and kind of, you know, gaining energy after that really, really brutal and chaotic Eurasian season. And I just arrived home from my holiday in Italy uh, last night. And of course, I want to react to the Four Songs for Junior Song Festival 2024, like I always do. So let's just get a hit with this reaction. The first song is by Stay Tuned and they're singing the song Music. Um, so yeah, um, let's just get a hit with this reaction. And it's a lyric video. Okay, so it's like a group of four. We love that, of course. <laughs> okay. I mean, I love music in my life, so I relate. Okay. It's upbeat. Music got me. Shout it out. Okay, cool. So we have a boy singing. Ooh. Yeah, it's really catchy. It's re it feels like an anthem. It feels like it could be like a theme song of your vision, um, junior vision. Like it could be like a song that all the contestants would sing together, almost. That's the vibe that it has. I love that uh, lyric. All we need is music in our lives. Okay. Very different second verse or bridge almost. I think it's alright. It's not that much my cup of tea. I like the chorus though. I really like the chorus. It's catchy. We need this music in our lives. I mean, the Dutch, they know how to write a good kid's bop. Like, they're always so catchy. Okay. Yep. Scream, screaming from the rooftop, shout it out. Hmm. Okay. Nice! Okay, we have this like sing along part where we can really get the get the audience to participate in the in the performance, which I always that's really clever. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, that was the first song, uh, Music by Stay Tuned. It was an alright song. Um, I like that. I think it was alright. It was nothing spectacular that made me go, wow. Um, but I think it was alright. It was an, an alright, like, fun, catchy song. Um, though it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, one of my favorite songs that I've ever heard. But I think it was, an, it was a good beginning to, hopefully, three more good songs. So let's move on to the next one. And the next song is by Veronica, Veronica, and it's Dreams Are Built to Last. It sounds like a ballad. Um, that was something what I'm expecting, but um, let's press play. She looks a bit older, like 13, 14. Okay. Cold the Dorman, I think that's big dreams. Dutch is actually quite similar to Danish, like when we're reading it. And I also speak German, so it also really helps. Okay, nice verse. Let's see what the chorus goes. Hmm. 
Oh, this is sweet. Mm, it's really sweet. This is more my kind of vibe. I get really happy listening to this. Like, if she can deliver a really, really, really good vocal performance, this could be really good, but it really needs that strong voice to really kind of, you know, get through to the people watching from home, I think. It's very different from the other song, like, it's two completely different uh, directions. That's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. It's nothing revolutionary with the melody, but... Aw, oh, Mama always told me, baby, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, it might not be revolutionary, but I feel like often the Dutch songs aren't, but it's it's a really nice and sweet song. Um, and it's much more by my um, from the other song I just listened to. This is way more something that I would listen to. Okay, we have a climax. So built to last. Oh yeah? For Bill to last. Give up fun. Well, that was, was Veronica with uh, Dreams Are Built to Last. I really like that one. I think I prefer this one to the song I've just heard. Um, very sincere voice, um, quite simple, quite simple melody, quite simple lyrics, but it was just very sweet, very, um, very infectious, and it just made me really happy, which I think is really, really good. Um, so let's move on to number three. The next song is Colors of My Heart by Ruben. Okay. Another ballad? Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Very mysterious. Ooh, there's a bill coming here. It has a very similar vibe to Veronica song, um, just like a male version of that song. Ooh. This build is really, really strong. I just wait the chorus would hit, hit even stronger. Again, 
very like very simple again like they're not taking many risks i feel like with these songs they're very they're very like it's like they had a formula like do this 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 and then give the song to them like it seems sometimes these songs from the netherlands are lacking a little bit of originality and a little bit of kind of like soul sometimes i think some of the artists sometimes when i've seen the live from the netherlands have really brought the soul themselves like um what was her name? She really brought the soul to the song, and yeah. Okay, well, that was um, the third song, Ruben with Colors of My Heart. Another really decent song. It was it was quite beautiful, though, again, didn't give me any very special vibes. Um, but again, with the voice and, and all that, it could really, really change. But let's move on to the fourth and final song. The last song is titled In My Prime and it's by Hide, Saya and Dunya. Looks like it's a two boy one girl group, which I'm here for it. Let's see what they got. This is upbeat, okay. Boom bam. Hey, hey girl. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> ah, because I like both boys. So it's like the girl in the middle, kind of like between these two boys, like, who am I gonna pick? I don't wanna pick. Okay. Well, that's a storyline for sure. Okay. Okay. Me pai, me in my prime. There's a little bit more energy to the song compared to I think the three other songs. This one has the most energy. I like that. Whoops. Whoops. I think that the selection this year, it's like, it's not like I have this one away song for me as of right now. I feel like in others, in years in the past in the lens, I really always had one song that I just thought were like miles ahead of the rest. And I really don't have that this year, which is like, yeah, I just don't have that this year. It's very like a more level field. I mean, all these four songs are quite catchy and that's something that these songs from Netherlands always are. Gonna make a choice. Cause I like both boys. I love how they all four use a little bit of English, but then also of course Dutch because they have to use Dutch. But a little English it kind of helps with kind of get the message across if you don't understand um, the language. Um, okay, that was that was cool. It was different. It was very energetic. Um, I enjoyed that. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna, gonna take a few minutes and make my top four, and then I'll be back with you in just one second. Okay, y'all. I have now gone through my notes and made my top four of Junior Sun Festival 2020. My number four is Stay Tuned with the song Music. This was the first song I listened to and I think it's an alright song. For me, the others were just more my vibe, I guess. So there's nothing very negatively to say about the song. It was just it was just alright and it was a, it was a good beginning and an, an okay groove. But the other songs just stood out more for me uh, in this selection. My number three is Hite, Saida and Dunya with the song In My Prime. I think this song and uh, number four, Music. They had a similar vibe, a little bit more energetic than the other two songs. 
I am typically gravitating more towards ballads, like usually, not always, but oftentimes I am. Um, I think this song just had a little bit more catchy chorus than the first song, and I liked how it had a really cute storyline of this girl between these two boys. It it was just, yeah, it just had a little bit of better of a storyline, and I, I, um, I just, yeah, it was just a little bit better for me. Not much though. I think live performances could really, like, really change this top for me. I'm really not settled. Number two is maybe an unpopular opinion because I can see it has the fewest views. It is Ruben with Colors of My Heart. I could feel that he had a really, really good voice. I feel like when this comes on the live stage, I think it could really blow people away and maybe surprise a bit. I'm not sure how much it's gonna it, it would do at your at junior vision, like how if it would really do anything in terms of like a good placing. Um, but I really liked the build up. I think the chorus was a bit of a letdown once you have kind of heard the good like verse and a great build up to the chorus, and then when the chorus hits, it doesn't really hit you that like it's kind of like kind of want a little bit bigger kind of like explosion into the chorus which i didn't really get number one it is veronica veronica i'm not sure how you say it in dutch uh, with the song dreams are built to last this was just such a sweet like power ballad ish um and it had like a peak at the end it was like i was just smiling throughout the like entire song because it was just so wholesome and so sweet and factious and i was just happy and it just made me really happy and the melody was very like catchy and like i could sing along instantly and um yeah that was my favorite verse based on this like first impression but it could all really really change but um yeah this is just what i think what do you think about the so four songs participating in junior song festival 2024 please let me know down in the comments below and as always you'll be blessed until i see you next time bye bye